Ta-da! Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're looking at our nifty solar equipment. If you want to go ahead, before we get started, give it a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Just so you know, I don't be electrician. I don't do that. This is just what I know. This is what I learned, mostly from my dad, who is not an electrician either. So this is not a how-to video. Take that as you wish. I'll give you what information I have. Hello, welcome back. It's Jess. Come on. And Max. And Ollie, of course. Today we are giving you a solar university. First, let's start on my favorite place to be. The roof. The ladders. Yay! So as you can see, we have three panels. They're 200 watt panels from Rich Solar. They were kind of pricey, but I think they're gonna do the job. We wanted a lot of power just because we're not totally fully into the bus life, and so we need a TV and our stuff, and yeah, we need to live a little bit. So, as you can see, they're attached with these little brackets right here onto just two by fours. And then we have little like wedges to keep those level so that our panels aren't wobbling as we're driving because no one wants that. And then we have, I don't know if you can even see it in there. Those little wires, there's two that come from each panel, a red one and a black one. And those, not they're not colored, but that's the whole point, positive and negative. They go through there. And then each one has a little connector. Oh, my ladder just scooched. It has that little connector. So what we did was we stripped the wire, put this little metal thing on there, crimped it, and then you put that into this connector and tighten the nut. And then you can connect those two pieces. So it's one wire from here, one wire from here in this connector so that all of your power is going at the end just into one cord so that it doesn't go over like one panel so it all goes together into one circuit um so you want all of your panels together so that it goes just into one because you can't have like one panel getting more energy than the other panel it will only go um get as much panel as much energy, sorry, as your least producing panel, if that makes sense. So then we have those little wires underneath there all the way to the back. And the back is where something super fun, cool, and crazy happens. We have a jumbo connector that brings that from here to there to our beautiful red and black with a stick red and black wires and we got these little thingies from Menards just to hold them up so our cables aren't bouncing whenever we're driving and annoying the heck out of us and starting a fight <laughs> but then they go back into that um, little gland over there it has two spots for two wires obviously I will show you a little closer that's a little hard to see oh, I'll just climb up my little ladder here to show you one second while well, I break myself on this. All right, here's our little gland. That, I can't do this and hold on at the same time. So you're just gonna have to come with me here. That little putty stuff coming out the bottom is so that water doesn't get in there. And then we just did four screws. I think they're metal ones, metal bolts. That goes in there. Once those wires are in those little things all the way, then we tighten those. And I'll show you where that goes in the inside. But that we just cut out like a square with the grinder tool. I don't know, put a blade on there first, obviously. But then we cut it out and there was a square, a hole in our top. That's not good. So that's what that tape is for so we don't have leakage. No one wants leakage, right Max? Yeah. Ugh. All right, going to the inside of the bus, you can see our little square right there and why we taped that and put putty there so that doesn't leak. And then our wires are going down there. 
They will be in our wall, but for right now they're not. Those go all the way down. After that, here's where we get into the nitty gritty of everything. Ugh. Here is our solar system. Should have done this video before I put our uh, bed up. This is not a lot of space. But I'm glad that you're comfortable there spread out on your couch. Over here, and this is where we have built a little box just to have things up on the walls, um, contain it more, have it not take up so much space back here. So those solar wires are coming through here, going into our circuit fuse box thing. This is what can turn the power off coming from the panels um, and stopping it from coming in and going into all these little places. Um, it does not turn off the battery. It's just from the panels. So with this little fuse here is that. It also protects it from any power surges so that we don't ruin all of our equipment and get toasty. That's not fun. So from our circuit box, we have these positive and negative going into the charge controller. Um, this is what kind of makes that solar wave energy thing um, even because solar energy is not always constant. So sometimes it's going, and then it's like, Rrr. so this kind of <laughs> evens it out and protects that. From there, we have it going to the distributor. This is what that looks like with the fancy cover on to stop sparks and everything touching it and rubbing it and making it do weird things. So let me take off this cover and I will show you. Okay, and then connected with our 10 gauge wires, this is our distributor. This little guy has a built-in bus bar up at the top, kind of protect from surges, um, and that just gives you something to connect these fuses to. It just keeps it safe, organized, instead of having all separate fuses everywhere. This is just built in, super nice, organized. <laughs> I said that twice, but enjoy. Oh, these wires are 10 gauge coming from the charge controller. And then these ones are the ones that are going to our inverter. So that is going back around the back corner to this little guy. That's the four zero wires. Um, we bought this off Amazon, this off Amazon, and then kind of made them ourselves. Had to buy all these separate things um, to make those wires. I'm not sure if you can just buy them flat out right but it was really nice to be able to make those and then have them exactly the right length because as you can see, they do not bend at all. So that's going around to the back of this inverter. That's the connections back there. We have the Guyandel Persine Wave Inverter. And this is what um, changed the power from 12 volt to 120 or solar to house. That's how I think of it. I think that's a super easy way to think of it. So, um, we have our heater and our water pump that run off of 12 volt, but then things like our phones and our outlets that we'll have around the bus will be coming from this inverter. They'll be wired into here, um, just so that that's usable. And then this is the wire that goes through our battery shutoff switch to our battery. We have a red and a black, both coming from here. Um, and then this is our battery. It's a 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This one you cannot charge when it's less than 32 degrees outside. So we have a little monitor just so we know not to charge it when it's too cold. There are some that aren't that way. There's some that also have a heater on it. Some that can be charged. We got this one, didn't want to pay the extra money to have like a heater or a special monitor. Um, so we just have this little thermometer. It was like five bucks and it works. Somehow I turned it off, don't know. I explained this part really badly, but this is the shutoff switch that disconnects the battery from the distributor just to disconnect that and turn that all off. It's just to stop that power um, that goes from the battery to other things in case we need to fix it or work on it. Other than that, we also have the individual inverter switch. Um, this is just to turn the actual power off if we're using something. We're going to have switches um, around the bus eventually that will do this for us so that we don't have to press one button and have all of our power go off at once. Then from this little shunt right here, we have a long cord with our smart solar battery monitor. 
So this lets us know the percentage of the battery. It's fully charged right now, or close to. Um, sorry, I pressed the wrong one. Ha. Um, that's how many hours we have on it with the current stuff on it. 13.24 volts is what it's at. This is how much just our lights right now are pulling out right as they're running right now. So that's in amps and watts. Amp hours. Uh, that's our battery percentage. So that's really nice. It was a little bit extra. We're going to have this mounted up by our bed to know how much power we have. See if we can run our split unit all night. Or if we're going to have to turn off, it's going to drain our battery. So that's a nice little feature that we have. This is our charger. So this is what we can um, use and plug in from the outside. We'll have a little thing out there plug in for that so that when we're at a campground or somebody's house or a generator we can plug that in and charge our battery that way in case we're not getting a ton of solar um that will just be a secondary way to um do that that was not off amazon that and the solar panels i believe are some of the only things that we didn't get on amazon so i'll try and find the link for that i know the solar panels are from rich solar and that i'll have to get back to you If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe. We always appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.